Every one of us has medicine on our heart. Every one of us, unique, uniqueness, snowflakes, not one single out of 7.7 .7 billion people on the planet. Not another one. And so what is, what is, what is the universe? What is, what is God? What is, what is Buddha? What is Jesus? What is Krishna? What is, what is this thing asking of me and how can I get out of my own way? Because it's not about me. And yet it is. What's up, family? It's time to have a chat. I think that quite a few of you know at this point, my wife and I have been in the midst of a beautiful personal transformation, a beautiful gift, an unexpected gift from the universe, God, whatever you want to call it. If you can't tell, I'm smiling. And not just with my mouth, but like vibrationally, it's, it's a beautiful time. And I also want to add to this conversation, which I'm gonna talk about in a moment, uh, a mantra that I've been using for quite a few years that is a game changer, and I use it especially when the going gets tough. Uh, without further ado, the miscarriage. Alexi and I got pregnant in Australia, Byron Bay, Vortex. We wanted to, we were planning that. It happened, and we found out while we were in Australia. Did the math and all that stuff, and found out that it was going to be a Leo. Now, if you don't know, I am a Leo. And my son, Kingston, is an Aquarius. My sister, my sister, is an Aquarius, and I'm a Leo. This child, whoever it was that was knocking on the door, whatever soul said, hey, I choose you guys, was going to be the same, you know, setup as my sister and I. And so I already immediately had expectations and was attached to an outcome. And I was already making it a girl, and I had this whole thing that was coming up for me. And I was excited. It's actually telling a lot of people, which they say not to do when you first find out you're pregnant. Then in Jamaica, right before we went to Jamaica, literally two days before Christmas, we went to do an ultrasound and they said they don't see a baby. Instantly, I got upset and I started researching and I saw that at six, seven weeks, sometimes you can't see the baby and they misdiagnose a miscarriage. And the woman who shared it was like, you know, she was basically talking as if it was a miscarriage. And so we went through blood work and all that stuff and they said, you won't find out until 2019. So we go to Jamaica, we're having a good time. There's a point when we're in the car where I, I ask everybody, what is, what's your word? What's 2019 gonna be about for you? What do you feel brewing for you? And uh, for those of you who are hearing this question, please answer it in the comments. Answer it in the comments. What's, what is this year gonna be about for you? And so everybody in the van went, we were headed to this beautiful waterfall and I went last. And I said, I feel that this year is gonna be the deepest transformation and the most abundant financial abundance and just being abundance that I've ever experienced in my life. And then two days later, we fly into LA, we go to the doctor and even going there, we knew that something potentially was up because Alexi started bleeding on the plane ride back to LA. And so I get to the doctor and they do the thing and they say, yeah, it's confirmed. You've lost your baby. Now, as it becomes true for us, I have to let go of my attachments. I have to, or get to, choose to, bless to, be there for my wife who's experiencing something. It's her body. The sacrifice that women go through to become the container, the space for a child is, is next level. And so I'm being with my own emotions while also trying to hold space and be a container for hers. And then I remind myself that there are no mistakes in God, that every single being, every single hair in my beautiful nappy Afro amazing beard, every single leaf on that plant is intended here. I got in a conversation about how I'm here. My mother, two miscarriages. She had my sister, and then we're five years apart. In that five years, two miscarriages. Was that me both times? Sort of checking in and going, ah, eh, not yet. Or was it another child? Whatever it was, I wouldn't be here without the miscarriages. And so I say, I hear you, thank you, I trust you. God, universe, Buddha, Allah, Krishna, source energy, I trust you. Mother, Father, God, I trust you and your uh, perfection. 
I trust your divine timing. I surrender and say yes to whatever you have for my wife and I and whatever soul is circling. Whenever you choose to come back, daddy loves you. This process has created so much more mm, gratitude, so much more presence with the presence of this miraculous thing called life. It's reminded me about the intentionality of the seed and what it takes for a seed to become the tree. Oh, so beautiful, so beautiful. And so for those of you saying sorry for your loss and all that stuff, I appreciate that, I accept that. We accept that. Not everything you lose is a loss. It's all in divine timing. This has brought us closer. It's made us look deeper at our relationships. It's activated a part of myself that's, that's even more connected. This is beautiful. It's a beautiful mess. And one love. I was talking to a client today one-on-one -on -one client. She has something really big coming up. And we got to see that the fear that was coming up around this particular thing was, wasn't working. How many of you guys are noticing or have seen that this idea about what could be is preventing you from being the most authentic, unleashed version of yourself? Like, I'm having this conversation with her and I remind her of a mantra that I use all the time and that is it's not about you you see a lot of us think it's about us we are the vehicle we are the vessel we are the rocket ship we are the container we are the context for god source energy whatever animates the, and spins the planets all of that is within here if there was ever a time in human history where we get to be used where we get to say spirit use me it's now and so I reminded her that whenever something big comes up, whenever I'm afraid, whenever I'm, I'm getting into the ego conversation about how I'm not good enough, tall enough, short enough, pretty enough, well, intelligent enough, whatever the conversation is, that I bring myself back to the reminder that it's not about me. Dot, dot, dot. And yet it is. Because my job like the trees back there, like those, those beautiful plants, is to prepare the soil so that, I, so, so that the blueprint, the seed, can grow as high and as healthy and as beautiful as possible such that it provides space and a container for other life, worms, uh, gnats, fleas, whatever you want to call it, to grow for the squirrels to run through my tree, for, for, for me to provide shade for those who, who, who have been scorched by the sun. This is my job. My job is to get out of my own way and allow myself to be used to cultivate the internal power that is Preston Smiles such that I can be a vehicle for that which is asking, uh, 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 is calling me forward. Right? Every one of us has medicine on our heart. Every one of us, unique, uniqueness, snowflakes, not one single out of 7.7 .7 billion people on the planet. Not another one. And so what is, what is, what is the universe? What is, what is God? What is, what is Buddha? What is Jesus? What is Krishna? What is, what is this thing asking of me and how can I get out of my own way? Because it's not about me. And yet it is. And so I ask each and every one of you to sit in this question. Where are you hiding in your life? Where are you not willing to allow yourself to be the vehicle, the vessel, the carrier of the medicine that was placed within you? Because mm, the last thing you want is to die with your music, with your dance, with your salsa, with your, with your samba still in you. So many people, how many, I, I, type yes, if you know people who've went to their grave, God bless their souls with their dance still in them. Type yes if you know people who are bitter as hell, sitting on the sidelines judging other people because they aren't willing to say yes, to lean in, to be used. This is the game. Those with eyes to, to, to see and ears to hear, let it land, let it land. This is the game to be used. Oh, love you all. I appreciate you all. It's uh, 
It's been a fantastic ride, an interesting journey. And I'm gonna continue to say yes to whatever is uh, being asked of me. You know, I sit in this fan like amazing house that we, we recently got. It's ginormous, just this room. This is just the master bedroom. It's ginormous, right? Like I could, I could run laps in this thing. And I sit in here, and I, some of you guys saw the post I, I did the other day about uh, me claiming and, and being willing to, to own that I'm a millionaire. Like, and, and, and the fear of, of, of saying that because the, the, the idea that I wasn't intelligent enough, that I needed to use my looks or something or, or acting as a way to be good enough. Some of you know that, that my sister, who's absolutely amazing, oh, I'm so grateful for her, got the good grades and, and was this you know, great person. And, and, and I was the, the, what you would call the mess up, the black sheep. For me to sit and look at the uh, byproduct, to look at the um, mm, symptom, the, 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 mm, the evidence of my own intentionality, in, intention and and willingness to move into the places that I didn't want to hear me each and every one of you has multiple places in your life right now that you ignore type yes if you don't look at your bank account type yes if you cleverly find a way to still scroll for hours sometimes knowing that there's something on your heart that's calling you forward. I have looked at these areas, I'm continuing to. I will continue to. And I'm, I'm, I'm just putting this out there as a reminder that the universe is, our world is, is a giant feedback loop. You know, my mentor the other day was uh, speaking at Stretch 22, for everybody in Stretch 22. And she was talking about how if, when, when you enter into a bookstore, you and I could enter into the same bookstore, but certain only certain books would jump off the, off the page, like off the off the shelves. I could only see certain books, but the next person could walk in and and not see any of the books I saw and see the ones they saw. It's because they have the filter for it. They have the 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 consciousness for it. So I say, if you are even anywhere close to being in my vortex, you have the consciousness and the understanding that you are here to hmm, not just awaken yourself. Not just to get out of your own way, but to do it such that you become a beacon of light, a, a signal, a option for those who cannot see the same books. This, this is, this is a part of what we're here for. Some, some people, you know, they reach out to me and say, ah, I'm looking for my purpose. There is no one purpose. It's with an S. Purposes. How willing are you to be in that game? I have essentially like two to three things that really drive me. One of them, and I used to say this way back in the day, you can find videos, you can find, I've, I've written about this. In my mind, if there's gonna be a little Wayne, there has to be a little Preston. One of my, mo my many of the things that drive me is the idea that there, because when I was growing up, there wasn't a me. There wasn't, you know, like a sexy chocolate drop that was like, you know, stylish and fun and spoke like I did and looked like I did that was talking about power and love and connection and being used by spirit. And so for me, one of my purposes on the planet is to be a, 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 an example of what's possible for my son and for many other little, little boys out there and the ones who aren't chocolate and Afro amazing. For them to see a, a different narrative because we're being sold something in the media. We're being sold an idea about what black man is. I know I'm so much more than black man, but I am. It's a part of me. All right. One love, one heart. <laughs> Let's get together and feel all right. I love you all. Blessings and blessings. I hope this resonated in some way. If it did, if it didn't, I uh, appreciate you. Thank you for being a part of my family. Thank you for being able to see the same books uh, and have the same awareness.